Well, Everton have earned 10 points from the seven matches since Sean Dyche was in so installed as manager. However, the three wins from those seven have all come at Goodison Park. Well, the boss is looking for vast improvements on the road, and this fixture here at Stamford Bridge is one that has always proved a little difficult for Everton during the Premier League years. Off we go then. Everton came home with a point from this fixture last season. Chelsea have struggled to find consistency, really, this campaign. So can Sean Dyche's side take something from the bridge here today? Chilwell's left boot. And the header takes it behind for the Chelsea corner. It's all about Everton now. Chilwell then on set-piece duty once more. Chilwell's ball into the heart of the penalty area. Everton get it away initially, and then it's wrapped wide by Kovacic. Iwobi picks up. Encouragement from the Everton fans. Here's Dwight McNeil, goes for goal from distance. Well, he got certain, certainly a fair amount of power behind it, but... It was always rising, wasn't it? Unlike his strike last week early on against Brentford. Kovacic for Havertz, who goes for goal from, well, 25, 30 yards. Straightforward enough, really, for Jordan Pickford. Pulisic driven into the penalty area and diverted into the gloves of Jordan Pickford in the end. Sent high by Coleman to Keane, just beaten to it by uh, Fadia Schilly, but back in towards Tarkovsky, and behind it goes Everton, won a corner, which is not forthcoming. Chilwell's on the ball, he finds Enzo Fernandez. there's space here for Chelsea inside the box, and straight at Pickford. done by Fernandez. Tarkovsky up the challenge in and Dwight McNeil breaks away and it's great work by Dwight McNeil he's got Damari Gray outside of him maybe caught in two minds there Dwight McNeil he had Damari Gray on his outside and there is the half-time whistle at Stamford Bridge where it is goalless at the break Everton have frustrated Chelsea and to be honest Everton have kept Chelsea pretty much at arm's length despite the home side enjoying the majority of possession Jordan Pickford well it's been fairly straightforward for him in the opening 45 minutes but there's a lot more work for Everton to do yet at the break here in West London it's Chelsea nil Everton nil Everton attacking from left to right in the second 45 minutes. Stamford Bridge has not exactly been the place to be for goals this season in Premier League matches. Chelsea have scored 14 in their 12 games here coming into this one and conceded just eight. Kovacic, Chilwell, mounting Chelsea pressure on the header from Kai Havertz, well saved by Pickford and scrambled away by Everton. And now they look to counter with Damari Gray. He's only got Idrissa Garnagay on his right. Now Iwobi picking up on the left and going for goal from just outside the penalty area, but gobbled up by Kepper in the Chelsea goal. The outlet, Chilwell this time, away as far as Felix. It's squeezed home by Joe Felix. The clearance from Keane fell into his path. Here's Wesley Fofana. This ball through to Joe Felix. The flag stays down, and then the shot, and now the flag goes up. He looked offside to me. It 
will be Damari Gray. Oh, inches away from her connection. Michael Keane, so close. Maybe he should have got his head on it. Here is the Everton corner. Oh, and Arna glanced it wide. It'll be another corner, the final touch off a Chelsea player. McNeil. Swung deep, there's the header. Oh, it's, it's in! That's over the line, surely. It is, Everton are level. Everton are level. They have profited from that set piece. Decore celebrates, and on 68 minutes, Everton equalise at Stamford Bridge. Tarkovsky did his bit, and Decore did the rest, flicking it just over the line. He knew it was in, wheeled away to celebrate. Chelsea won, Everton won. Tarkovsky off his shoulder maybe and how Everton celebrates for Farner for James Joe Felix is trying to play James in for return he's gone down the referee's pointed to the spot he had a good look at it Tarkovsky scratches his head decisions have gone against him all day can Jordan Pickford rescue Everton here Havert steps up Left-footed scores, Pickford sent the wrong way, Havertz stroked it home with confidence. Drissa Garner again making way, Ellis Sims coming on for Everton here. Sending a striker on, and why not? Onana sends it back, here's Gray. Tracked by uh, Loftus Cheek, but Decore squeezes it out to Dwight McNeil. McNeil, can he get a shot away? He can across the face of goal. Oh, Everton player able to get on the end of it. Ellis Sims probably closest to it. Seamus Coleman being replaced by Vitali Mikalenko here for Everton. So captains of both sides have left the field now. Decore's touch is a nice one. Ellis Sims into the penalty area. Big chance. Ellis Sims for Everton. Ellis Sims with his first goal for the club brings Everton an equaliser at Stamford Bridge. As we tick round into the final minute of the 90. Ellis Sims waltzed his way into the penalty area. And finish past goalkeeper Kepa. It's 2 2. He used his strength and power to make his way into the box and finish with precision under the left arm of Kepa. All hands on deck here for Everton cleared and the final whistle it's a precious Premier League point for Everton and it's a night to remember for that man Ellis Sims with the 89th minute equaliser Everton get themselves a very very important Premier League point they're all important but this one seems a lot bigger than others